Hello guys, welcome to the second session and in this session we are going to see how we can install our Helm chart. In the previous session, we have seen what are the basic principles behind the Helm chart and how we can use the Helm chart in our Kubernetes environment. So let's begin and let's install our Helm chart on our development machine. To begin with, the first question comes in my mind, how can I install the Helm chart? There are many package managers available for installing the Helm chart like Homebrew, Chocolatey, Scoop, GoFish and Snap. But we are going to choose an option of a script because uh, Helm chart community provides a script which you can use if you are starting from the scratch so that you don't have to use any package manager. Uh, and since we are starting with the scratch, so I would like to go with the option of a script. Okay, so how to download this script? So you can download this script using this curl command. And on the left hand side you can see this is my uh, Kubernetes cluster which is up and running and if you don't have a Kubernetes cluster then you need to set up your Kubernetes cluster. And uh, if you like to know how can I set up the Kubernetes cluster then this is the guide uh, CubeSpray and this is the video uh, lab session which I have prepared so you can follow on my channel also. Okay, so I'm assuming that you have set up your Kubernetes cluster and don't worry, I'm going to share both the guide for Helm as well as for CubeSpray uh, in the description section of the video so that you can follow and you don't need to remember any command. All the commands I have mentioned in the guide so you can come back and follow this guide for any commands. Okay, so I'll copy this first command to download the shell script. And here you can see we have downloaded the shell script uh, get helm.sh. The next thing which you need to do is we need to change the mode so that we can make it executable. I'll clear it, I'll paste it here and now we have changed the mode so that it is executable. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to execute this shell script using this. And what it's going to do, it's going to download this uh, tar.gz file, which is a Helm package. And after that, it's going to install. And as you can see, it has installed on this location, user local bin. And after that, Helm installed into user local bin Helm. Okay. So to verify, you can run the command uh, Helm. And as you can see, this is the by default Helm documentation, which is available and how, to, how you can use the Helm chart. Okay, I'll clear the screen and I'll paste the command helm version. And as you can see, we have installed the version 3.4.0. After the installation step, let's move ahead and do a demo on a Hello World Helm chart. Okay, to start with the step number one is you need to create your first Helm chart and the command for that is Helm create Hello World. So you can copy this command and paste it over here. So as you can see, uh, we have now created the Hello World Helm chart and this is my Hello World Helm chart. It will create a directory and which you can verify using this command also. If you are not sure whether where it has been created, then you can just paste this command and as you can see, uh, this is the Hello World Helm chart which we have created. Moving further in the guide, you can see this is the same output which I have pasted for your reference. So you can see this is the time and date where we have created the Hello World Helm chart. Okay, there is a one more another way where you can use the tree command to verify the structure of your Hello World Helm chart. So I'll clear the screen on the left hand side and I'll type the command tree and then Hello World. So as you can see, once you run the command Hello create Hello uh, World, it is going to create all the directory along with all the minimal uh, YML file which is needed for creating your Helm chart. So this is our Helm chart structure and this is my Hello World directory. Before moving further, I would like to highlight in the Helm chart world, we don't run the application. We install the Helm chart. So for this current session, we are going to prepare a Hello World Helm chart and then we are going to install that Helm chart. Okay, but before that, uh, we need to go into that our directory that is hello world, which is our Helm chart. And inside that directory, you should see values.yml. So we need to update some values uh, inside the values.yml. And here in the 2.2 step, you can see uh, we need to update from cluster IP to the node port. And why we need to change is because uh, whenever we are going to run any application, uh, that application needs to be exposed as a service. And to expose that service, we need to assign. It should be a node port, not a cluster IP. 
Why? Because we are running a virtual environment and to access that application, we need to expose that as a node port. Otherwise, we will not be able to access it. So that's why uh, we need to update this values.yml and uh, we need to change from service type from cluster IP to node port. Okay, so now we have changed the directory. Now we are going to open the values.yml in vi mode. So here vi uh, values.yml and here we need to look for the uh, port, not port, but the type that is cluster IP. So I'm going to change it to node port. Okay, after that exit, save and quit. And since it's our hello world Helm chart, so we don't need to do anything extra. So this change is sufficient enough to test our Helm chart. So all this instruction you can find in this guide. So this is the section you need to look, uh, that is service.type and you, previously it should be cluster IP that you need to change it to the node port. Okay, and rest of the things you can keep at as it is. All right, so moving to the step number 2.3, what you need to do is you need to install your uh, Helm chart using the command Helm install. As I told you, uh, we need to install every Helm chart which we are going to prepare. So for that, the command is Helm install. You can see over here, Helm and install. Then your first argument, that is the release name. Because whatever Helm chart you're going to install, we need to assign some release name to it. And then the actual chart name. So that is going to be your second argument. So here, this is my final command. So that is Helm install. After that, followed by my hello world. That is my release name. And after that, hello world. So that is my actual Helm chart. Okay, so I'll copy this command and I'll paste it over here. And just remember, we need to get outside of this directory. So we are sitting outside of the hello world directory, which is our Helm chart. Okay, so I'll paste this command. And as you can see, if you see this message, that means your Helm chart has installed successfully. Now we need to verify whether our Helm chart installation has gone properly or not. So in this guide, you will find a command Helm list A. So you can run this command over here, Helm list A. And here you can see this is our my hello world. That is our release name, which we have installed or our Helm chart has been installed with the release name. I'll increase the size of this screen so that you can see better. I will clear it and I will rerun the command. And here you can see my hello world. So that means our Helm chart installation is successful and our release name is my hello world. And since this is our first installation of our Helm chart, so the revision number is one. Okay, then how to access our application? Since it is a very basic hello world application, but it is not going to output a hello world text or something. It is not because we have uh, installed Nginx uh, server uh, provided by a Helm chart package. So what you need to do is uh, you need to first of all clear this screen and after that you need to run the command coop ctl get service. So that will tell you like which service you are going to expose. So as I told you we need to change the uh, service type from cluster IP to node port. So this is the service uh, type which is now node port and the application uh, not application but the helm chart application release name which we have provided that is my hello world that is running on a node port service type and the port is 31239. Okay, so that is the information which is needed. And now if you remember, like we have changed this uh, service type from cluster IP to node port. So that's why we are getting this additional IP, uh, port number. Otherwise, we would have gotten a port that is only 80. And if we have gotten that port 80, then we will not be able to access this service outside of the Kubernetes cluster. So in the next step, we are going to access this uh, Nginx uh, homepage uh, on this port. Okay, let's go back to our browser and here I'll open a new tab and I'll type the IP address of my virtual machine where my Kubernetes cluster is running and followed by the port and hit enter. And here you can see this is my Nginx default page. So that means our first Helm chart has been installed successfully. Okay, moving back to guide, you can find all these commands in the, into this guide 
and uh, that includes scoops it will get service command also and always remember you will get a different port number here like when I run this application so I got the port 31239 but in your case you might get a different port number so that you should need to check after running this kubectl get service command because it always uh, assign a port within the range of 30,000 and 32,767. So that is your uh, node port range uh, that you will get. Okay, and this is the default login page. So I have uh, pasted a screenshot of the same so that you can refer to this guide. I hope you liked the today's session on how to install your first Helm chart application and how to access your Nginx server page. If you have any question, then please put down into the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. In the next section, we are going to see how to add the upstream repositories into our Helm chart.